Hello everyone, welcome to complete SQL training video series. In this video, I am going to discuss about the uh, how you can create the after insert trigger or uh, uh, how you can utilize in the real time scenario. So last video, I already discussed how you can create the trigger. So if you not uh, get a chance, uh, just uh, you can go visit my YouTube channel Pandey Guruji and uh, you can find this video on the uh, playlist which is the complete sql and database tutorial and uh, you can learn the complete sql uh, by downloading the uh, sql training notes and the sql training uh, interview question just visit the pandeguruji.graphy.com and you can also find the direct link on the video description if you want to learn the uh, one to one uh, sql you can connect with me on whatsapp the number i will provide in the video description you can directly connect and you can download it all the question notes and uh, you can also join with the how you can correct the interview if you're not able to correct if you have you, if you need any help uh, uh, regarding to any uh, job profile or uh, you want to learn the sql on the personal training you can contact me directly on the whatsapp so let's start with this video. So in this video, I will discuss uh, how you can create the insert trigger. Okay. So basically last video, I already discussed uh, about the uh, classification of the trigger, how many type of the trigger is there. So basically under the after insert, after trigger or the four trigger, we have the three type of the trigger. One is the insert trigger, one is the update trigger and the third one is the delete trigger. So I will discuss one by one uh, how we can create the insert trigger and uh, how we can use into the uh, real time. So last video as I discussed that uh, the trigger main purpose of the trigger is the basically to use for the auditing purpose. So I'm going to create one table that is the employee test table and I'm inserting some type of the data. So uh, suppose this, tab this table have the some employee information and we need to be always the audit all the data from this table that is the table name is the employee test. So any type of the data will be inserted. It, it will be automatically triggered to the audit table. So whenever the audit will be performed, they can uh, figure out the what user who inserted the data and uh, when the data got inserted into the employee test table okay so for the auditing purpose uh, i'm going to create one table that is the employee test underscore audit table in this table this table will be used for the auditing purpose okay so uh, let me create here okay so now you can see this table doesn't have any data now this table is the blank okay so I will insert the data into the employee table, test table and data will be automatically inserted into the uh, audit table by using the trigger concept. Okay, so uh, the first part of the trigger is the after insert trigger. So how you can create the after insert trigger? The basic syntax of the creating the after insert trigger is that you can just use the create trigger and the trigger name. You can give the any type of the name, uh, like any type of the naming conversion unit. You can follow like uh, after insert trigger underscore table name or TRG after insert like this. So uh, we can easily figure out exactly uh, what uh, trigger is created for uh, what purpose. Okay, so after that you can put the on clause and uh, the table name. Where which table do you want to create the table? So I put it the employee test table because we need to create the trigger on the employee test table and after you can put the uh, for what operation you want for this trigger so i want this trigger for the insert operation uh, separately next video i will discuss for the update and then for the delete okay so this video is only for the insert trigger and uh, since this table we have implied imply test table we have three column okay so uh, based on this requirement, okay, you need to be build the logic here. Okay, so uh, you can see this table have the around the three column is there: employee ID, employee test, uh, employee ID, employee name, and employee salary. 
okay so uh, this i i am creating variable that is the employee id employee name and employee salary and the fourth variable i am creating is for the audit action okay which basically this is just for the uh, we need to be insert some type of the text into the audit table so we can easily uh, figure out the for what operation this audit will be inserted because in the same table uh, the audit will be inserted for the update audit will be inserted for the delete audit for the insert so how you can differentiate which audit is for which purpose okay so so this region we need to be use the audit action and in uh, whatever variable it declare employee id in, in this employee id i am taking the data from the inserted so in the trigger this is the very important uh, interview question that what is the difference between the uh, what is the what is the magic table is there and how many type of the magic table is there so basically there are two type of the magic table one is inserted second one is the deleted uh, which is available inside the trigger only and uh, till the session trigger will be executed this table have the data whatever the operation perform and you cannot access this table outside of the trigger okay so you can put select star from inserted this table will be not available okay so uh, this you just you can keep remember uh, just memorize that this table is not available outside of the trigger so this is they can also the interview will ask you the question that uh, can we in, can we access the inserted magic table outside of the trigger you you can say that no we cannot in we cannot access it okay so audit action we taking the uh, we just inserting some type of the insert record after insert trigger and then the final uh, the main purpose we need to be insert into the audit table okay so it's got automatically data will be inserted into the audit table so audit table have the uh, column employee id name salary audit action and audit timestamp so our employee id we have the whatever variable we declare employee id employee name we have the employee name employee salary employee salary audit action equal to audit action and audit time stamp is equal to whatever the date time we need to be inserted here okay so now we need to be print some type of the message so we can observe that uh, the trigger is firing or not uh, just for this is the visibility purpose uh, but this is not the mandatory either you can put or not put so let me create this trigger and uh, see how data got in, or inserted into the audit table. So before executing, you can see here there is no data into the audit table. Okay, so right now we don't have any type of the data uh, inserted. And this date table, main table, employee test table, we have the five record inserted, uh, which is the before the trigger I created. Now I'm going to insert the data into the employee test table, insert into employee test select seeker and 1500 uh, employee salary because employee ID is the identity column. So no need to insert here the value here. Okay, so now you can see I inserted the value and you can see the data got, uh, so you can see the after insert trigger is automatically we got some message that uh, trigger fired, okay. Now you can go back and just see in this table, main table, employee test table. Here you can see seeker information got inserted here. And now if you see the audit table, because we not inserted any data into the audit table, but by default through the trigger is automatically data got fired into this audit table and all in information is inserted. You can see audit action, audit timestamp, when the data got inserted. So now. 11th of uh, July, 11, 13 is a timing. If you insert the different, uh, if you insert a different uh, data into the employee test, again, the new record will be inserted into the audit table. Okay, so now you can see here, uh, the new record got inserted into the audit table. So you can see this, uh, Shevan Mukesh 1300 inserted record after insert trigger, and you can see the timestamp got changed. You can also customize the, if you want to add the, some additional information like the, the user information who inserted the data. So you can also use the, uh, you keep the user information. Uh, in the real time, we also have the, some type of the uh, work request number, uh, for what uh, JIRA ticket number, whatever ticketing tool you have that they requested for the client. 
that number you also you can insert so we can easily figured out uh, who requested to insert this data so we we need to be uh, always you need to be build the logic within the uh, trigger when we create it so i hope you understand the uh, how you can create the insert trigger okay in the next video i will discuss about the how you can create the uh, for the update trigger and also for the delete trigger and then also i will discuss how you can enable or disable any type of the trigger if you have any question if you have any doubt you can put the question and on the video description if you want to learn the complete sql by um, by using personal training uh, you can uh, directly text me i will definitely provide you the timing and all each and every detail okay so if you are new in my channel please don't forget to uh, subscribe the channel and hit the bell button so thank you so much for the watching complete this video keep watching keep learning thank you